Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So my new buddy, Kevin Chu, brought me a present. Something that's a replica of my past that I've always loved. But, I gotta, but I'm bringing back the 80s kind of guys. So you're going to have to stay tuned for this one. All right, so my new buddy, Kevin Chu, uh, came up, met with me, even got me some coffee. Thank you, my bro. Uh, brought me this present. Guys, what does that look like to you guys? Take a closer look. Doesn't that look like a Yamaha Secret 04? Well, it's actually a Gozen Secret Carbon. So the backstory is when Yamaha uh, got out of the market of tennis rackets in like the early 90s, 93 or 94, um, when they have, you know, took like, we're not going to make tennis rackets anymore. Uh, Gozen took the racket, which was one of their top selling rackets, the Secret 04, and decided to make a bunch of these. Uh, I personally have never seen one that said Gozen before. I mean, even the secret, the word secret, was from that Yamaha writing. Now, Kevin was like, you should check this out. And I'm like, holy crap, this is a Secret 4. So what am I going to do with it? Well, I'm going to first put a grip on it. Um, and then I'm going to put confidential on it. 16L. So what I used to do, though, one of my secret fours was I would string it up at 60 pounds with Gamma Gut or PSG or Gamma Gut 3 or some bow brand string that I could afford. But I'm going to take old school, meet new school. Because back when these were on the market, this polyester wasn't on the market. So I'm going to put these together and have my man coach Andrew Gu and my man coach Chris meet these two racket and strings put together. And I've never actually tried this racket with a poly either. So we're going to see you on the court and see how we do with them. We're on the court, got the secret carbon from Gozen with the confidential strings at 52. I've regripped it up with my Hydrazor Pro and a Pro Overgrip, okay? 52, because I was worried that it was going to be too uh, loose at 48 for all of us, especially when I used to string it at 60. So we got the secret, meeting the confidential, the secret confidential today. Just got off the court, goes in secret carbon. Um, I liked it, but I'm gonna tell you my thing later. I'm gonna start with Coach Koo. Coach Koo. So, uh, what I like about this racket is it gives a lot of pop and it's very stable. Most powerful rackets um, are very flimsy. Even though they're stiff, they feel very flimsy. But this one actually feels stable even when I ripped a few balls with this. Um, it is very thick. That's what I've noticed when I saw this racket. It's super thick. You can tell the beam is pretty thick. But it pockets well. Feels great, honestly. I don't feel like I'm fighting the racket as much, even when I try to generate power or receiving power. 
And honestly, this is a fun racket to use. I wish um, most rackets who who are stiffer were kind of like based off of these rackets, which is nice. Um, the only thing I could compare it to really in like the current era is probably that new Bible Lot Pure Drive, but I feel like this is way more steady than that. So overall, really good racket. Would try to get my hands on these or people who look for power. All right. so. Coach Koo doesn't know this, but this racket is li older, literally older than Coach Goo. Yeah, probably. Because this thing's probably back in 1993, 94. Yeah, I wasn't born. You weren't born yet. Heck no. Right? So this racket is <laughs> older than you. It so, looks in good shape, too, surprisingly. Oh, no. It's, it's amazing shape. It's amazing. Yeah. So if, if you could find these guys out there, I would say definitely get it. Yeah. Uh, these are awesome rackets. Now, is this racket older than you, Coach Chris, or right around the same age? Uh, right around the uh, same age. I'm like, what was it, 1993? Yeah. 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 Come on. Yeah. Big so, break now. Same age. They were born the same year. Okay. Coach Chris, what did you think of that? All right. So, immediately when I played with this, um, the first thing I noticed that it was definitely one of the stiffer frames I played with um, and compared to kind of the other brackets out there. I think one of the other kind of comparison that I felt like when I was playing with this in terms of bean stiffness was definitely the pro staff, but it actually hit, it, it hit more. I thought I felt like it had a lot more power than the pro staff. So definitely like the Wilson burn in that aspect. Um, and I felt like the weight distribution of the racket too was overall really good too. Um, and in terms of, yeah, just being kind of just this carbon frame I think they, they really did like Gosen really just did um, really just kind of go to the roots of it and just make it pure carbon instead of kind of just you know um, um, putting anything else in it where that's kind of what you have a lot with modern day rackets either putting in kind of like a titanium fiberglass but um, they put a mixture in too as well and they also throw in like with Wilson they they throw in the um, countervail stuff to dampen it but I actually enjoy um, the stiffness of it and to really feel kind of um, hitting hitting the shots a little bit more with this racket so yeah so these guys don't know it because they're too young but this was one of the stiffest rackets out back in that time it was this racket and the profile that were super stiff super powerful but this was super smooth if you guys have never tried a racket like this it used to be called a Yamaha secret four and this is one of my favorite rackets from that era I still try to look for these um, wherever I can eBay Goodwill all those places if I ever see one I always pick it up a secret four a secret six those were rackets that those rackets were so good you guys would have to try it to even know that uh, those of you who are young um, smooth power is how I describe this racket and I miss it all you have to do is just basically pull the racket back and let it go the racket does the rest so I mean I miss this I wish they would or somebody would recreate this again there is definitely a market for this racket so if you're out there and you can make this racket, guys, I would definitely do it. All right. So I want to thank my man, Coach Goo, for hanging out with me today. Where can we find you, Goo? You can find me at agu.tennis. So I'll also be posting content there as well. All right. I want to thank my man, Coach Chris. Where can we find you, Chris? You can find me at CB Chen Tennis. And I'll post likewise content there too as well. All right. I want to thank my buddy, Kevin Chu for uh, getting me this racket. Um, sincerely appreciate it. Brought back a lot of great uh, memories. All right. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.